Hi, I'm Jacob Morris, and you're here at Sailfish Live. I'm here with our special guest of honor, Justin McGee, at the theater program. Good evening, and I'm Lindsay Martha. So, Justin, how are you tonight? Excellent. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you yes. for coming. Yes, we're very happy to have you here. We are. Now, I just have a couple questions for you about your life as a theater major. Okay. What is uh, your favorite part of the theater program, the theater department? Uh, as a department, everybody is really close. Everybody's really close. It feels like a really tight knit family. A family. You like that yeah. sense of family? Yeah, it's really nice. You enjoy everybody? Yeah, you don't get that at a, a large public school. So here at a small private school, you get to know everyone personally. You get to work with people a lot closer. It, yeah, at a large university, you would not. Yeah, would it not feels more that. like a competition. At a larger university here, it's like we're all boosting each other up to see each other grow. That's amazing. Wow, that's really that's cool. That's very sweet. Now, I realize the campus for acting majors is off campus. How, how do you like that? Do you like that or you don't like it? Um, it has its pros and cons. Um, being off campus from the main campus, it, um, it makes us grow closer together because we're around each other 98% of the time. So... In a sense, it's good because you get to connect with these people, this one group of people, but on the other hand, it's hard to actually connect with everybody else on campus. It's hard to branch out and do other things other than theater. Yeah. So, now, what do you do if you have issues with um, well, you guys get in fights? Or are there any issues? Oh, do any fights break out? Fights? There are. Is there drama? <laughs> There's hardly I mean, ever... There's got to be drama in the drama department. I yeah. Mean, it's the drama department. Spill there the beans. There have to be some drama queens and kings. Tell you the honest truth, there's hardly ever any drama. Wow, well, that's amazing. It's weird. You would think, being that close with people, that somebody would say something, but... There's I mean, about 60, 60 students in the theater department. Yeah, something right? like that. So, you would feel like you would not get along with somebody at some point, but everybody's pretty mellow. It's very rare that somebody says something offensive, and we usually work it out right then and there. So. That's good. It's beautiful. Um, now, what type of character do you like to play? Uh, man, that's a tough question. Um, well, normally I try to go for like the comedic roles, because comedic roles are really funny. It's easy to get a laugh, um, and it's easier to work with an audience if you can tell that they what you're doing is working by them laughing. But... Um, Challenge-wise, I almost prefer working something that's not funny, like something really serious, because it causes me to use the tools that I'm learning. Um, instead of like just going for comedy, it causes me to like go for something really serious and it makes me work harder. So that's great. Do you have any uh, role models you look to as an actor? Uh, any yeah. guys you worked after? You know, base your work off of. Who do you like see that? yourself as? Yeah. Oh man, Adam Pascal, who. Uh, Actually, has been in a number of like on Broadway shows, um, like Rent. And so I, you uh, see yourself as a Broadway actor rather yeah. than like a Hollywood actor. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, screen acting and stage acting—they're totally different. different things. So. And now, as a theater, the theater department, some are Broadway actors, some are Hollywood actors. Yeah. You would say. Yes. So it's a mix. It's a good mix of both. That's good. So. Wow. Theater. Now. As a theater major, do you ever have any regrets of not pursuing anything else in your career, or is this what you're saying? Yes, what's your minor? Um, my minor is actually pastoral ministries, so there are times when I'm in theater and I'm like, oh man, I love theater. It's so great. It's so much fun. I feel fulfilled here. But like when I'm not in theater, or like when I'm in chapel, or when I'm out doing ministry work, it's like, oh man, this is what I'm called to do. So I don't really feel regrets. But I feel like I'm called to a greater purpose that's not as, uh, I'd say, self-serving as theater is sometimes. Are you going to, what are you going to, where are you going to take this theater degree um, after? Actually, the plan is, after I get this degree, I'm going to, like, probably try to go make it on Broadway for a little bit. If that doesn't work after, like, three years, I'm going to go do some cruise ship stuff. Probably work at Disney until I pay off the student loans for getting. The Did degree. you just hear about the cruise disaster on the Triumph? Yes, and uh, you still want to go on a cruise ship? I'm really, Come on. I'm willing to risk it. It's okay. <laughs> wow, wow, I am happy. brave soul over right here. Yeah. Life happens, you know. We must get a lot of girls in this business with that kind of character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm really> <laughs>
Um, well, well, thank you so yes. much for coming out this evening. Not a problem. It was a pleasure. It was. Thank you for having me. No problem. That'll about do it here at Selfish Life. <laughs>